examples of some of the research we're doing and some of the work that, that we've created. We essentially, we've built a platform on which other people can develop self-driving cars. We're not building cars, but we're building computer platforms for people who are creating cars. And so essentially what we've done now is we've trained some of these neural networks to take the video from the front-facing camera um, on the left, this is what we call free space detection, or it's our neural net called, that we call um, our open road net. And essentially, we've created a system where it understands where the open road is. Where is it safe to drive? Um, when you're driving, you don't usually go through a checklist and say, is there a car in front of me? No. Is there a truck in front of me? No. Is there a pedestrian in front of me? No. You essentially say, where is it open space? Where can I drive? And if a car pulls in front, that sort of changes your perception of where you can drive and you'll hit the brakes or you'll change lanes. We also have created a neural net that basically is detecting vehicles. So we can detect cars and trucks and bikes and other types of vehicles. And then we can also understand what's the space, what's the volume that that vehicle takes up. Because different vehicles have different signatures, essentially. A bicycle takes up much less space than a car. And so as we're doing our path planning, as we're trying to figure out where to safely drive, we need to understand exactly how big these objects are. The beginning and the end of a, of a truck is your passenger is different than a, a passenger vehicle. And then what we'll do is really we can run these different neural nets um, all together. So in this case, we have three neural nets. One is running the 3D bounding boxes so we understand the other vehicles on the road. One is running the open space detection, and a third one is actually running lane markings. So we're able to detect the lane markings. So again, this is, I think, where the new software development is going. It's not so much people writing code to figure out where the car to, to, will drive, but rather using data scientists and new methods of not programming but teaching the car what to do.